Hey guys, I'm Chris Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a chit chat get ready with me on this ugly look right, right here. Um, some days your makeup turns out just so good. And then other days it's a hot mess and it looks like this and it's just not cute. Ew. Just ew. And I feel like I've <laughs> uploaded like five videos lately where I've been like, ew, my makeup is so gross. But like, it's just, it's not popping today, which is fine. Like honestly, it's Sunday dinner. I'm just going to take this off later. But um, I still wanted to put it up because it's like a, ch it's more of a chit chat guide with me than a tutorial, but it's, I just ended up looking like not snatched. <laughs> but I really just wanted to do a chit chat guide with me, so that's what I did today was a chit chat guide with me. Um, if you guys are new, you probably don't want to subscribe after seeing this look. I mean, I wouldn't blame you. You totally don't have to subscribe, but like, um, I have better work than this. Like, I really do. But um, I just want to like, let's just laugh at my past self because me, present me, can laugh at who I was because in the beginning of the video I was really hopeful of how good this look would turn out. I'm like, yeah, like let's just see where it goes. Like, I was trying to sound all like, whatever, it might look bad, but like I knew that it would look really good, but it didn't. So, let's just watch it and laugh. Here we go. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Hi. How are we today? Are we good? Good, I'm glad. It looks like I had like a night. I swear I didn't. I just stayed home last night. I saw that movie Life. That was weird. I mean like, don't get me wrong, it was really good, but I literally left the theater feeling like nauseous from that movie because it was so, like morbid is the best word to describe how that movie was. It was morbid. Like, if you guys don't know what movie I'm talking about, it's called Life, and it's like when they find um, life on Mars, and it's like this organism that develops, and um, it like it's deadly, and just I mean it's not a spoiler if I tell you guys that it kills astronauts, because um, you can see that pretty much from the trailer, but it like wow every death that occurred was just so gruesome and morbid, I was literally just like, wow, like it, it was just a lot to take in. So I literally like left the theater feeling pretty nauseous. But um, yeah, it looks like I had like a night, like I was out partying, getting turned, but I wasn't, I was just chilling. Today's look that we're going after is like a yellow look. We'll see how it turns out. Um, I grabbed these two shades, this and this, so we'll see what look comes out of it. If the look even comes out of it, I might change my mind halfway through. I have a question about the direction of my channel. I know you guys are all probably tired of hearing YouTubers always being like, oh, like, I want to post stuff that I like. I'm done with doing the basic routines. Like, whatever. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing that because I know that I am too. But my question to you is, if you don't know, I'm very into fitness and health and lifestyle and all of that. Um, to the point where if I'm not hanging out with my friends or I'm not making YouTube videos, I'm working out, eating healthy, doing something fitness related. Like it's just, it's very much so my life. Like it's all that I do pretty much. Um, I teach spin. I'm just so like health and fitness obsessed. So, and I know you guys also ask me for vlogs all the time. So would you like it if I started to put fitness vlogs on this channel? Like, I mean, obviously I'm not going to stop doing makeup. That's a given. I love makeup, so I will keep that. But would you also like me to start incorporating like what I eat in a day's in a vlog style, like at home workouts, bring with bring you guys with me to my spin classes, just sort of like follow me around in a day, like day to my life type of videos, but they'd be based around fitness because that's pretty much what I do all day. So 
Would you guys like those videos or no? I want to know because, I mean, it is such a big part of my life that I feel like I should share it. And I know that I love watching those types of videos. And there's something about the whole mind, body, soul of outer beauty and inner health. Like there's something, they're very connected in a way. So it's almost like special to have them on the same channel, I feel. I don't know. Just if you guys want that, let me know. If you don't, let me know. But um, I think it'd be pretty cool because then I could do some vlogs in there, which I know you guys always ask for. Um, I could get in some what I eat in a day, which I know you guys also always ask for. You, I could get in some um, at-home workouts, and it's just, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I think I don't really have much to talk about, so I think I'm just going to tweet out to ask me some questions for a Q&A. Alright, so I literally just tweeted, hi, filming a check or with me, tweet me questions to be featured in today's video. Hurry, I'm filming right now. The first one is from Kalisha, and she says, what is the application process like for university? I'm applying in the fall. Okay, so applying for colleges is, it sounds super, super, hello, super daunting and horrible, but it's really not that bad. Normally you would apply either through the school's website itself or through this um, other website called Common App. Um, so Common App pretty much is just like a lot of schools will accept an application through Common App, which is just like one application that you make and then you can send that one application to multiple schools, but every school have like a personalized addition to it. So like you'll have like your basic application of like your name, your info, what you did in high school, extracurriculars, like all that sort of stuff, your grades, and then um, each college will also have like personal essays. Most of the time they're optional, always do the optional essays. Um, because nothing is ever optional with a college essay. If it's on there, it's because they want to see it. Um, and normally it's asking like, what do you um, see? Why, why do you see yourself going to this college? What will this college um, help you succeed with in 10 years? Stuff like that, like stupid questions. That's through Common App. And then there's um, other websites where you can do it directly through the app, um, directly through the website of the college that you're applying to. So I can't remember, but I think University of Alabama was not common app. The most annoying thing about applying to colleges is getting all your stuff sent over like your transcripts and um, if you have like an art portfolio, I don't even know how you go about doing that because I never had to deal with that. But um, I know that there are a few kids in my broadcasting class who had to film like, who had to send film portfolios over and stuff like that. So getting transcripts sent over by deadlines is pretty annoying. Abby asks, what is my biggest regret? Hmm. I mean, I don't really, like nothing comes to mind, but I think my biggest regret is holding myself back. I always hold myself back with a lot of things. Carly asks, what's your favorite song right now? My favorite, it's like super raunchy. I like really raunchy ghetto rap hip hop music. It's like the best. So right now I'm obsessed with the song Red Mercedes. And then I also, like the song um, Nobody Else But You by Trey Songs is like my jam right now. All right, let's see how this yellow eye turns out. Like honestly, who do I think I am? Ooh, SOS, I'm trying to go dairy-free, but your girl loves her bagels. What's a good dairy-free vegan cream cheese? Such a good question because honestly, that was like one of the hardest things ever to give up was cream cheese. I loved cream cheese. Kite Hill Chive Cream Cheese is dairy free and vegan and to me it tastes exactly like cream cheese what's your greatest strength and your greatest weakness um i think my greatest strength is i really try my best to always find the best in someone um no matter who it is I'm al i always feel some sort of sympathy for someone which i mean that can also be a weakness but i i do i always find sympathy for someone. And my greatest weakness is that I cry all the time. I'm a huge stress crier. Um, and that's on a, it's such an issue because there are so many times where it's just not appropriate to cry. And I just, I can't help it. I just like cry. Like when I pop my tired, when I pop my tires, I cried. When I have to say something that's on my mind, and it's a little bit out there and it's kind of like me holding my ground, I cry. Janaea asks, how do you deal with drama? I'm usually never in it, but so many people have been talking about me and my BFF 
and we don't do anything. Um, drama sucks. It's very hard not to get involved in drama. And honestly, the best thing that you can do is just be the bigger person and reach out to them and just make th make sure that they know that you know they're still loved by you, that they're still appreciated by you, and that. I mean, that's like, that's what I mean. Like, even if someone does me so wrong, I will always reach out to them and I will always be like, if you need anything, like, I'm still here for you. Like, all this stuff. Like, no matter how poorly someone can, like, screw me over or anything, I will always reach out to them. Um, I always just say, be the bigger person. Try to not fight back unless they're literally, like, coming at you. I mean, even in, that's happened to me. And, like, even in that circumstance, I still don't fight back. Don't feed into the drama and just back off, you know? You know, I don't even know what this makeup is. I'm just going with it. Own it. I hate these lashes. My hair is like a mess. I was like sweating in my sleep last night. So I like have bad hair. Whatever, this is like literally the go-to hair. Wait, this makeup like is not cute. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go put on a different shirt and hope for the best. But like honestly, I just, I look like a hot mess right now. Um, yeah, not much better, honestly, <laughs> but uh, it's a little bit of an improvement, I would say. Like, the shirt was just kind of throwing me off a little bit. I mean, not that this is any better. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's okay if you didn't, like, the makeup turned out really bad, but I hope you liked it, um, because I did it. <laughs> okay, if you guys want to see my last video, that is right here. If you guys want to see a good to check out with me, that's right up here. Love you guys. Talk to you in my next video. Bye.